Oh, I'm doomed. No. <laughs> Oh, what? Does it not take new pound coins? Yay. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, good morning, everyone. It's about 7.30 in Bristol, we're in Clifton, on a cold October morning. And uh, we've got up early to uh, try and catch a little bit of the morning glow. Um, and hopefully get a few shots around Bristol. We have actually been here recently. Um, you would have seen that in the Jelly Journeys vlogs. Uh, that's on my other channel, by the way. Uh, but today, we're just gonna try and get some shots of this nice crisp morning air. So behind me, you can see Clifton Suspension Bridge. This is one of the most famous bridges in the country and possibly even the world. One of the earliest suspension bridges in the world. Um, and. Uh, pretty pretty magnificent uh, if you guys know of my channel and the history then you'll know that this is my hometown city uh, so it's kind of nice to be exploring and visiting and yeah get some nice shots I've got a feeling I need to use the 16 to 35 today because that bridge is quite wide Ooh, I need to clean my lens so this is the Canon 16 to 35 f4 with the image stabilization. I don't use it that much for photography, I mainly use it for videos. Um, today, I think I'll need it. Okay. So I got a couple of quick shots here. Uh, had the benefit of because we came here the other day I knew exactly where I wanted to get the shot but the east is that way so sunrise is the complete other side so quickly head on over there we could potentially wait but I don't know if the light's really going to come across something we could walk over the bridge and uh, get a view of Bristol the bridge itself if I remember rightly is about 80 to 100 meters high um, so you do get a pretty high viewpoint and if you are a long time subscriber in this channel you remember that video I did with Henry, uh, late night photo shoot in Bristol. That was about two years ago, and that was a fun evening. I uh, got some long exposure shots that time, obviously at night. <laughs> For night photography. <laughs> Came out all purple, it was nice, it was lovely. Thought it failed, but we did all right. I do actually have a few different stops that I'm doing Bristol this morning, so it's kind of going quick. Um, but that's generally the way I like to take photos anyway, so I'm going to head over here, maybe go over the bridge, maybe go down towards the harbour side, uh, and maybe Queen Square, yeah, yeah, alright. It's pretty much going to stop at every viewpoint along the way. I should probably point out, I'm really not a morning person. But part of the reason why I wanted to do this today is to just get up and go. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> sometimes I think about staying up late at night just so that I can then see the morning because I'm really not a morning person. It's nice. When I'm out, it's nice. It's just getting out, you know? It's hard. I'm really enjoying this view just down the River Avon there. Um, so we've got like the winding of the road that leads you up to the building that's just being kissed by a little bit of light. Uh, I really like it, it's quite nice and the water's looking really glossy. Uh, it's just kind of reflecting ever so slightly. So as the light's just kind of changing and the sun's really starting to glow a bit now, uh, I've just set my camera to bracket mode. So I'm doing one stop above and one stop below uh, correct exposure for the road and riverside. Um, so hopefully 
I'll have a good shot that I can use in post. Otherwise, I may have to merge them together um, and get a perfect exposure. My mouth is not working this morning. <laughs> So we're actually parked in the residence area because uh, there's not much parking around in Clifton. And we've got about half an hour left on the car, so we're going to head into Clifton itself and get some shots of some of the side roads, uh, some of the glows of the sun. Uh, it's quite nice. And also I've noticed in a few recent videos, a lot of you guys have been asking about this guy, the uh, little clip that holds my camera. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, it's called the Capture Pro. Um, it's a nifty little device and I love it. I think that's Clifton done for us this morning. Uh, we're back just in time for the car before the warden comes around. And uh, we're now gonna head down to the harbour side, see what the river's doing, and uh, maybe get some breakfast, because we're hungry. It's warm. <sighs> it is incredibly warm in this coat and hoodie. <laughs> it was cold earlier. If you're coming to Bristol and you want a good car park, by the harbour side, uh, Millennium Square car park. It's probably the brightest car park I've ever been in. Uh, it's not badly priced either, so if you are coming to get photos, then here's a good place. I think the lighting may be coming up just a tiny bit too bright and uh, right behind the subject that I'm trying to get shots of, so there's this collection of houses over here, nice and colourful. Um, it's quite a uh, common theme across Bristol actually. There's a few sort of pockets of colourful terraces. Um, so I think we may have just missed it for the morning. Uh, so I may have to come back again some evening sometime and uh, get some of those shots. But we'll carry on around the riverside and uh, just enjoy the rest of the morning and maybe get some breakfast now. There is something on my lens. Sorry if that's been there the whole day. The sun has definitely come up quite high now. Getting some harsh light so it's not quite as nice and soft as it was this morning. Um, but yeah, the main reason why I wanted to do this today was just so that to literally just go out and shoot. Um, so as you guys know, I've been traveling around the past couple of years. And being back in the UK, I've struggled to kind of maintain inspiration on a few things. So. It's been nice to just kind of force yourself and get out and shoot. I'm sure a lot of you guys kind of feel that sort of same vibe sometimes, especially in your own hometown. Um, but yeah, I've enjoyed today. Uh, I'm not sure if I've got many photos. I know the light was pretty good this morning. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what I've got to share. But if I have got some decent ones, they'll be on my Instagram very soon. Uh, and I'm hopefully going to be staying on top of my edits for these vlogs um, so that I can kind of film them and edit them within a couple of days rather than there being a backlog. So. Anyway, uh, moving back to London soon, uh, literally in a week or two. So um, yeah, should be more London-based stuff. So I hope that's inspired you to go out and shoot. Uh, that's why I make these videos. And uh, I will catch you in the next one. So make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you like this one and then subscribe for more videos and I will catch you again. See you later, bye bye.